Hello everybody and welcome to another PLC programming video tutorial using later language in FlexiSoft software. In the previous video we talked about how to create your first Reno project in FlexiSoft software. And we talked about a very simple contacts like normally open and normally closed contacts. So in this video I am going to talk about positive pulse. Uh, rising edge and negative pulse or falling edge. To change the state of uh, contacts variable, first select the variable, then change from here. Uh, let's continue from the positive pulse. And it is different from the normal input contacts. Uh, pulse means a single shot and you will not be able to see the output. Uh, sometimes we need to detect the change in a signal. For example, if detection from 0 to 1 is needed, then the positive pulse or you can say rising gauge is used. In this case, the output is 1 only in the cycle where the signal clock go from 0 to 1. Otherwise, it is always 0. Now, as you see, we have a positive contact. Uh, let us run the program. Uh, if we make the positive pulse contact true, uh, and you will not be able to see the change in the output because the cycle time of the PLC is too short, uh, like between 1 milliskin and 10 milliskin. So, pulse in signal processing is so rapid. So to see the change in the output, uh, let us add a pulse timer block. With pulse timer, uh, you can create a fixed duration output. Uh, let's put 5 skin as a length of time. Name this one as a timer 1 to see the counting of time. Uh, let's name the output coil as C1. Let us run the program. Now if you make it true, uh, you will see the output. If you put this output in front of the pulse timer block, Again, it is uh, the same thing, uh, you cannot detect signal here. By the help of using pulse timer, you can see now uh, that there is a signal. Uh, when signal is uh, from low to high transition. There is also negative pulse. Uh, it is just the opposite of positive pulse. Contact is active during a scan cycle where the control bit has a falling gauge. Means uh, detect the transition from 1 to 0. And the output is 1 only in the cycle where the clock go from 1 to 0. Otherwise it is always 0. Let's create the same leader logic as for positive pulse. If we make it true, uh, you can see that no change in the output happen. But to make false, and now you see pulse at the output. That is all for positive pulse or rising gauge and negative pulse. Thanks for watching.